Joining us today to discuss the important issues impacting the Middle East, both financially and politically, is CEO from Arab Swiss Consulting, Ahmed Al Jabachi. Good to have you with us again, Ahmed. Thank you for the invitation, Sam. Now, first of all, if and when the US finally raise their interest rates, how is this likely to affect the oil market and, and the Gulf states? Mm -hmm. I think Ms. Yellen will decide it at the end of this year to, to raise the interest rate. And this will affect the oil price badly. Actually, we'll, we will see a, a, a falling of the oil price. But the Gulf state will certainly will react to this and start limiting their productions to keep it between 45 to 55 dollar per barrel. Okay, well, um, what would your advice be for investors then? If they're looking at Iran and now the eco sanctions has been lifted, what would you say to them? I would recommend them to, to wait a little bit because uh, to wait for three to five years, a little bit longer even. Because Iran now is involving in two wars directly in Iraq and in Syria. And they have a really a very bad communications with their neighbor in the Gulf regions. And in the same times, we don't know whether Iran will complain with the, in, with the atomic uh, agreement and, will, and what will the new president say about it and how the things will develop. So that's why I recommend company to wait a little bit, uh, at least three years, and don't go immediately in the market and afterward we, there will be a misunderstanding and a lot of conflict and it will cost them a lot of money and uh, energy. Yeah, so after three years, what are you hoping to see? What will happen then? Really, we don't know, but I, it, it all depends on the attitude of Iran. Uh, the most important thing so that we think, we think it is, Iran should really draw its influence from the Middle East, from Iraq, Syria, Yemen, even Lebanon, because they are producing a lot of problems. And we in the Middle East, uh, they don't like it anymore. Even the Gulf region or C Turkey and all these, even the kind of conflict that we have, it, we don't need it in the region. Right. Well, well speaking of conflict, war-torn Syria are now um, seeing Russia come in and acting. Why, are we, why is that happening now? You know, for the world community, it is very, very important that Iran don't take the command in the political and even military situations in Syria. So that's why Russia is now interacting. And even what I said in my previous interview, that Russia would like to play, to play a positive role in the Middle East because the Russian would like to see back to the oil price $200 and they want to show to the Gulf region they are capable of changing the situations in the Middle East because the Gulf regions are really one of the reasons that we have now a low oil prices and they will work hard now the Russian to, to solve the problem so we will live afterward in very stable conditions and situations. Yeah, so how if Russia acting now, how will that help the oil prices go back up in theory? You know, in the beginning, Russia will try to show their uh, military potentials and even to stabilize a little bit the, uh, the president of uh, Syria, but not for the long term. This is only for the short term. So they could, uh, in the, with the time, to, 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 to make for the Iranian to withdraw from the Middle East very easy. And this is their strategy. And afterward, when Iran draw from the Middle East, the oil price, the Gulf region are ready to limit their productions and go back to, to oil price between 80 to 100 dollars. This will, in, in the long term, probably about five years, uh, that will take about five years until we reach this point. Ahmed, thank you very much for coming in today. Thank you for the invitation, Sam. And thank you for watching. Be sure to click back to Jugoscopy TV for more updates and exclusive interviews. We'll see you next time.